Hi, this video is about the new monitoring checks that we added to Agent Client Collector recently. These checks enable collection of metrics and events from public cloud infrastructure and services. When running your workloads on public cloud environments like AWS or Azure, you cannot always install agents on all your hosts. And even if you do it, your EC2 instances, for example, are not necessarily the hosts that are running your applications and databases. So we need to provide an agentless solution using the agent client collector. The way to do that is to use the agent in proxy mode, as I will explain in a couple of minutes. Our new proxy checks for events and metrics include, as per May 2022 story list, EC2 and Azure VM, as well as storage service metrics like EBS, S3, Azure Blob Storage, container service metrics like uh, Amazon ECS and Azure AKS, cloud databases services like DynamoDB, Cosmos DB, and others. And in addition, we are continuously developing new checks for other public cloud services. For monitoring on-prem hosts and applications, we usually install agents on the host we plan to monitor. But for public cloud monitoring, we use the proxy agent configuration. It means that we install an agent or any machine, whether it's an on-prem server or a cloud VM. Then the agent will run this on this machine and use the proxy checks to run on the host in order to collect the required information from the remote public cloud workloads, such as VM instance, cloud database, or any other cloud service. Since we do not install the agent on the host we monitor, we will need to use Cloud Discovery to create the CIs for the workloads we plan to monitor. The basic agent discovery will not be helpful in this case. Now let's move to the demo to see how cloud monitoring with ACC works. Let's start with ACC policies and look for the AWS policies. We can see here four new policies for AWS. By the way, I already activated all of them because I wanted to show you some uh, events and metrics. So let's start with AWS metrics. First of all, we can see here multiple CI types that are supported by this policy uh, by different monitoring checks. So we support uh, EC2 metrics, EBS, S3, RDS, and so on. Let's edit the policy in Sandbox. So we will better see uh, the configuration. So first of all, monitored CI. So uh, the main CI is the AWS data center. I can also fine tune it with the regions I plan to monitor. So in my case, my workloads are on this data center uh, on two regions, US East 1 and US East 2. By the way, even though the policy filter is the data center, uh, the binding of the metrics will be per CI type. So for the proxy setting, we see here uh, that we use a proxy agent and a check. So we see here multiple check instances for each of the services I mentioned. For EC2 events, we have a separate check. Again, the policy uh, filter is very similar, data center and regions and uh, it runs three check instances uh, for the events. DynamoDB metrics, again, very similar uh, policy filter, proxy, and one check instance. We also have new uh, Azure policies. I will not cover these in the demo, but these are the new policies. Now let's go and see some alerts. In Operator Workspace, let's go to Alerts and choose Open Alerts. Let me look for a group of alerts. For example, this one. So we have uh, here a group of three alerts. First of all, the CI type is AWS Data Center US East 2. And we have three uh, alerts here, three different alerts that are generated by uh, each one of the event checks. If we go back to the 
EC2 event policy, we can see here three different check instances, one for the CPU balance, one filter, and one for the network. So we can see here exactly uh, three alerts that are generated, each one of them by a different uh, event check. Let's open, for example, this alert. So we can see that we have a CPU balance critical alert on a specific EC2 instance. Uh, while the other 14 instances are in OK state. Now let's see some public cloud collected metrics. So in Operator Workspace, I can go to CMDB, then choose a CI and see its metrics. Uh, I've created a list of predefined CIs. So let's choose, for example, one CI uh, for EC2 instance. So we can see that the CI type is virtual machine instance. And here we can see uh, the list of featured metrics or the metric tab that I can see each time I get an alert on this specific CI. This is something that the user can, of course, customize, but out of the box we deliver these charts. Let's choose the CPU utilization chart and open it in Metric Explorer. Uh, so we can add some more metrics from the full list of metrics or from featured metrics. Um, we can play with the time range or we can choose last 24 hours or a custom range. Let's choose like the week, last week. Um, and we can also show alerts on the timeline. So here I had an alert on this CI. And um, some more metrics. So same for EBS, let's choose a, a specific CI. And um, the CI type is storage volume. And again, metrics are collected. We have featured metrics. We can open it again in Metric Explorer. So same goes to RDS, uh, ELB, S3, and so on. Uh, with DynamoDB, I want to go back to alerts and to see the metrics from a different direction. So let's go back to all alerts and search for a specific alert that is related to a DynamoDB CI. The alert description says that the latency metric exceeded the critical threshold of 4 milliseconds. Now where did that came from? Before this demo, I created a static threshold definition of a latency metric for DynamoDB with a critical threshold of 4 milliseconds. So what we see here is an alert that is generated using static threshold and not using the event check. Now we can see the metric tab or the featured metrics again in the context of the alert and not from the CI itself. That's it for the public cloud monitoring using ACC demo. Thank you for watching it.